So you may have heard a couple of times on this channel that, um, ooh, a bit of tea. Wild Friday night for Joe. Um, you may have heard a couple of times on this channel that I've been talking about the show. I've been writing, um, and the astute among you will realise that that text has not changed at all in the last 13 to 15 days, depending on how you count success and failure. Um, but no, yeah, I'm running a show, it's called Joe Hart Internet, and I thought I'd talk about it a little bit today to, um, uh, fill the time, because I, I don't have an idea of what else to do today. Um, but this is going to be my second solo show up in Edinburgh. I'm doing it at the Gilded Balloon, 1.30 uh, in Edinburgh. I've done two previews so far. Um, and the show is sort of about the internet, uh, but also b me and the internet. Uh, because I sort of grew up on the internet. Like Technically I grew up in like a sleepy commuter town uh, out of London, but really I grew up on the internet. I didn't really get out a lot when I was a kid. I didn't really leave the confines of my bedroom. And in my bedroom I didn't really leave the confines of the internet, um, apart from like food and other necessary things. Um, and it's sort of talking about that sort of early part of the internet, sort of, uh, not the early part of the internet, sort of middle age internet, sort of early 2000s, MSN Messenger, um, BB, uh, PHP BB forums, if you were ever part of them. And like I was a part of a small online community called Gax Online for a while, uh, back when like there were lots of little social networks and our lives weren't just completely dominated by Facebook and Twitter and such. Um, and I, I sort of view that area of the internet with somewhat rose-tinted glasses. And I like living in the digital world. It's kind of cool. I'm talking to a camera alone in my room, drinking a cup of tea on a Friday night. I'm just totally cool. Um, and also the show is sort of an excuse to try some sort of very techy, cool kind of set piece things like uh, I've made a helmet where it did it sort of takes the visage of a person digitizes them puts them into a video game then live on stage they can control themselves inside a video game um, I kind of need to work out the reasons behind that or why that happens because uh, currently I sort of do it because it's cool um, and the sort of biggest thing I'm struggling with at the sh with the show at the moment is the finale because I've got idea an idea for this really big set piece. I don't want to say what it is, but it, it it's technically really difficult. Uh, so hopefully people will be impressed by that. Um, and it's something that sort of draws from my past, so I think it's quite personal. And I think it can be quite funny, but we need to come up with a reason why it happens because at the moment in the two previews I've done, I've sort of gone. Well, it's the last ten minutes of the show, we should do the finale now! Which just seems sort of arbitrary and lazy because... It is lazy because I haven't really found a way of doing that. So I've so I've got these sort of ideas and little bits and bobs. Um, but it's kind of difficult because I can't really try them outside of the context of a preview. Um, because a lot of them require like a projector and a laptop and, and only work in the sort of rhythms of the show. Um, and yeah, I've got like less than two months to finish writing and doing and performing and rehearsing before I take it up to the fringe and reviewers can say things about it. Um, and yeah, and instead of writing the show, I have decided to spend my time making videos online for you guys. So enjoy these while they last. See you tomorrow. Ba 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 ba.